Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives, still working on uh, industrial electronics and tools. So in this platform, we have got the question paper on uh, DC theory, which is uh, electrical circuits from uh, April 2021. We just want to see how actually we're supposed to work out the question. Uh, it was actually question two, where we are given to study the circuit diagram in fig one below and answer the questions. So that was the second diagram. And uh, if you had to cross check, the first question was to calculate 2.1, the total resistance of the circuit. And that is uh, six marks for that. Okay. So the total resistance of the given circuit, uh, let's see what we have. If we are to, if we are to cross check properly, we had a parallel combination here and also another parallel combination then. So the first one, these are just two resistors and we know that in parallel, if there are two resistors, we can just use our product over some concept, which is R1 by R2 over R1 plus R2. So that is what we were given in this case. So R1 times R2, that's two times two over two plus two. And uh, that can actually give us four over four, which is one ohm. Okay, then we move on to the parallel combination that we have. These are three resistors. So on this one, we can actually write it as one over RP2, uh, which is one over R3, one over R4, one over R5, because these are three. So you can write it as one over R3 plus one over R4 plus one over R5, okay? That is one over the total resistance for the parallel, which is one over R1, it's 40 ohms, plus one over R4, which is 20 ohms, plus one over R5, which is uh, 40 ohms again. All right, so uh, from this, that means we can actually obtain the total one over RP2, which is the total uh, from our calculator. Uh, let's see what we... Uh, going to have one over 40 uh, plus one over 20. So this is one over 20 plus one over 40. Again, one over 40. Okay, this was going to give us 0, 0,1. Uh, that is what we are having in, in this case, which is 0, 0,1 or one over 10. All right, so as we know that if we are to simplify further, we are going to have RP from uh, this part, which I have to find the inverse one over this, which is RP2 is one over this, which is 10 over one. So 10 over one, that's 10 ohms. So now we've got the parallel combination for the second part and the parallel combination for the first one. So these two, if we are to check, we combine these two, we combine these three, so we can have a short, uh, part that something like this, we are now just left with two resistors in a series because we have uh, calculated these two. So here we remember, remember that we obtained one ohm from the first parallel combination. We obtained one ohm and this one we obtained 10 ohms. So that will be the total resistance. We have to add the two because they are in series. So therefore, our RT in series is now in series. So RT is going to be one ohm plus the 10 ohm, the one that is in series two, which is going to give us 11 ohms. So that was the total resistance for the circuit. Just like that, we can uh, have six marks for that. So that was uh, the consideration or the idea of the question. Uh, let's see the second one, the total current in the circuit, okay, so we need the total current in the circuit, that's uh, our question 2.2. Okay, so since we have got the total voltage and the total resistance, we can calculate the total current. Remember that total current is equivalent to the total voltage over the total resistance. Total voltage of 132 ohms, 132 volts uh, over the total resistance of 11 ohms. So let's divide 132 divide by 11. 132 divide by 11, that is 12 amps. So this is current, which is measured in amps. So we've got the total current of the circuit. That is the current which is flowing into the circuit is 12 amps, which is the same current, which is going to be 
divided to these three resistors like that. All right, so that was the question. Let's see the last part of the question, uh, which is to calculate the current passing through R2, R4, R5. Okay, so let's start with R2. The current flowing through R2, all right, let's do it this way. Uh, let's see what is happening on R2. This is where we have our R2 here, that's our R2. So the current of P of amps is the one that is going to be shared by these two resistors. The one is going to flow this way, the other one in that way. So we can apply current divider rule. Okay, so this is 2.3. Okay, so we've got 2.3. We need the current in two in uh, uh, R2, so you can write it as current in R2. So using current divider rule, we are going to apply the opposite resistor on top. So current in R2 is going to be R1 over the sum of the resistors R1 plus R2 times the total current from current divider room. All right, that's that's uh, R1, which is two over the sum of the resistors, that's two plus two times the total current of 12 amps. So using current divider rule, it was going to be enough for us to have this current. So it's going to be two over four times six. So two over two plus two, that's four. Uh, times 12, sorry, not six, but times 12, which is going to give us six. All right, so we are going to obtain uh, six amps. So this is the current flowing in resistor two. Uh, that was it, I think. This was a direct question paper. Anyways, uh, R4, the resist, the current in R4 and the current in R5. Okay, let's check where we have R4 and R5. If we are to check R4, R5, R3, they are all in parallel. This is the parallel combination. So it is easier for us to have the voltage for this parallel circuit. Why? Because we know that voltage is the same. So we can easily use the current and that total resistance for the parallel circuit, which is the 10. Remember, we calculated here, we got uh, 10 ohms. So that was the easiest way that we could have done uh, we can calculate first uh, the, this was 2.3. Okay, so first we are supposed to calculate the total voltage for the parallel circuit. That's the total current, uh, the total current times the total resistance for the parallel circuit. Uh, our total current is 12 amps times the total resistance for the parallel second part, which is 10, which is 10 ohms. So we are going to multiply by 10 which was going to give us 120 volts. So the 120 volts that we see is between, is actually here, we've got 120 volts, we've got 120 volts, we've got 120 volts. So since we've got voltage and resistance, we can calculate current. So we need the current that is flowing in R4. So that means current in R4 is going to be the voltage in parallel circuit. Uh, let's just two here over resistor R4, okay, which is 120 volts over resistor R4. If we are to cross-check our resistor R4 is 20 ohms. So we are going to divide by 20 in this case. Okay, so dividing by 20, this one, we can simply see that this is six. So it was going to give us six amps. Okay, the same thing, the current in resistor five, is going to be the voltage for the parallel circuit over the resistor five. So the voltage in the parallel circuit is not changing. It's the same, which is 120 divided by resistor five, which is 40 ohms. So whatever that we are going to get here, we have to divide by 40 ohms. All right, so let's see what you're going to have at the end. As we can see, this was going to give us a three. So our answer is going to be three amps. So that was the... Uh, current actually that is uh, in the resistor five, which is three amps and that current in resistor four. So that was easily uh, the concept for the question guys, as you can see, uh, DC circuits, these are actually questions which are direct. It only needs you to understand the diagram. Make sure you analyze the flow of current, the combination of resistors, how resistors are being presented. That is the easiest way that you can actually answer this question. So that's it guys from Mason African Motives working on industrial electronics and two till we meet again.